step-by-step -step on how I became rich so you can just copy me. My name is Ruben Popple and I've gotten to the point where I'm technically rich and a lot of you guys watching this aspire to become rich, aspire to have more money than you can ever imagine, aspire to do whatever you want in this life. And I'm gonna go through the exact frameworks, the blueprints, everything that you need to know in order to become rich. Now, this is completely raw, um, no fancy edits. I'm literally just gonna go right into the source, the whiteboard here, so you guys can intake as much information and that by the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of exactly how to become rich. Now, the first thing that I wanna go into is what is important to you? Now, excuse my messy handwriting, um, but I'm gonna try and make it as clear as possible. What is truly important to you? Not what you're seeing on social media about how this person lives, that person lives, how that guy dresses or what this person does. What is important to you? What does your dream life look like? because this is very, very important, your dream life. Now, the reason I bring this up is because, and, and this will all make sense as we go into the next steps. Like, I think I'm gonna go through four steps uh, that is, is truly important, and it'll make sense in the next couple of steps, but you need to ask yourself, what is your dream life? What does that look like? Because another person's dream life is gonna be completely different to yours. So, for example, other people might wanna go and travel around the world. They are going to probably want to be a digital nomad where they live off their laptop. You might just wanna live in a nice ocean front view apartment and live a life where you're making a lot of money but you're not constantly on the move. Or you know, maybe you wanna do a mixture of both. Or maybe you wanna make a million dollars and you don't wanna make $10 million. Maybe you like to dress casual and not overdress. Like th these are the questions that you need to ask yourself because what happens is a lot of people look at a lot of guys on social media like myself, a lot of other people, and they're trying to become that person and not them actual selves. Like it's one thing to follow someone's frameworks and blueprints on how to become successful, but it's another thing to understand who you are and why you wanna do what you wanna do. So what is your dream life? So the first thing is how much money do you wanna make? Like, what's that amount? You know, is it a million dollars? Is it $5 million? Is it $10 million? And the way that you can really break down this number is by asking yourself a couple of questions. So, you know, what car do you want? What car, house, lifestyle? Do you wanna go eat at fancy restaurants every day? Do you want a $5 million house? Do you want a Lamborghini? Maybe you might just want a BMW or a Mercedes. Maybe you don't wanna go for the supercar, supercars. So this is very, very important because based off what car you want, the house, what lifestyle do you want, how many times a year do you wanna travel, you can kind of get to this amount. Now, for me, I'm gonna break it down for myself just so you, know, you guys have sort of a reference to go over. You know, my dream cars are, you know, I want supercars. I want to be able to have a garage where I have Lamborghinis, McLarens, G-Wagons. I want, I want, you know, I want uh, a decent amount of cars. My dream home is, you know, I kind of want a, a massive mansion, a massive kind of villa, five bedrooms. I've got a tennis court, pool. So that's gonna be anywhere from like, you know, you're looking at five mil to, you know, 10 mil house. On lifestyle, I wanna spend a million dollars a year. I wanna be able to travel, I wanna to go to the Monaco, I wanna to go to Dubai, I wanna be able to travel and move around. So every year on lifestyle, probably close to 500K to a million dollars a year. So based off these answers, the amount of money that I need to make per year to be able to afford all of this. So right now, for example, I live in a $4.5 million apartment. That's in Australian dollars. So in USD, it's around three and a half million dollars. Oceanfront view. I spend about $200,000 a year probably around on travel and all of that. But I wanna to get to this number. I wanna to get to this amount. So the amount that I need to aim to make if I wanna do this is probably close to $5 million profit a year. And this way I'm able to live this high life. But for you guys, it might be a little bit lower. So 
understanding this is very, very important. This number of how much you want to make because the lifestyle is the main thing because that's what you're going to be living at the end of the day. So that's very, very important. Now, the second thing is like, why do you want to make that much money? Like, what's it for? Do you, know, do you want to take care of your family, your future family? Do you want to quickly, no, is it, is it focused? Like, take a look. Yeah, it's clean. Just watch for like a, a little bit, um, just so we can make sure that everything is focused on the, uh, the whiteboard. But this is very, very important because why do you want to do it? Like, who do you want to take care of? Like, do you want your future family, your current family? Do you want to retire your parents? And writing out that is very, very important too because. When you have clarity on your dream life, the car you want, the house you want, the lifestyle you want, the amount of money that you want to make, why you're doing it, do you want to build charities, do you want to give back to your family members, how much do you need in order to take care of your kids, your future family. When you have all of this in mind and in sight, you now have ultimately, I'm using this to clean up, this does not work. But what you get ultimately is your why. Because the reason people give up when they start something and they're doing something is because they don't know what their why is. And they don't have clarity on that. So when they start something, they start an online business, they start doing something, they give up or they stop or they're not motivated to push and to work because why? They don't know what their why is. So if you know what your why is, you understand it, you're able to go ahead and make this happen. And that is very, very important. So get a notebook out, write all of this out. And then what I want you to do as well is not only go ahead and print out an image of each one of these. So your car, the house, you want the lifestyle, but I want you to write it all out everything and I want you to read it every single morning and every single night. So in my bathroom, I have my goals written out on my, uh, you know, where I brush my teeth. So as I'm looking every day when I get up and, and that's also another thing, positioning yourself for success. And this is something that I'm gonna go into, but every day, I wake, every day when I wake up, I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror and there's one mirror that I look at every single day amongst the four that I have, like I have my sink, like you know, the his and hers, and on my side, I brush my teeth and I look at the, this one specific mirror every single day. So if I'm looking at that every single day, I wanna make sure I have things on there that are reminding me of what I'm trying to achieve and what I'm trying to do. So I have all my goals written out there and when I have that written out every single day when I wake up, I brush my teeth, I read that out. And what this does is it gets me ready for the day because now my goals are top of mind. That's the first thing that I read and I look at in the morning. So now that's on my mind and I need to do what I, I need to do certain things that day in order to hit those goals. And I also set up my day to make sure that everything that I'm doing that day is getting me one step closer to achieving those goals. And then at night time, what happens? I brush my teeth before I go to bed. So I, once again, I read my goals again, right before I go to bed. And that kind of goes to like the law of attraction manifestation is the way the law of attraction and manifestation works is you speak it out so many times that it becomes true. And what this ultimately means is that when you speak it out so many times, when you read it so many times, that's all that is on your mind. That's all that you're thinking about. So what is gonna happen? You're going to do everything you can in order to achieve that. So that's why you want to write it down, write it out and read it. So you understand your why you understand why you want to keep pushing through because during this journey, you're going to come through a lot of battles, a lot of challenges. There's going to be times where you truly want to quit. There's going to be times where it gets hard and the reality is you need to embrace all of that that comes with you, but you have to be very mentally strong and you have to know your why and at times when you think about giving up, you're going to think about the fact that that's the car you want, that's the house you want, that's the lifestyle that you want. You need to take care of your grandmother, you need to take care of your mom, you need to take care of future family, you need to give yourself a great life as well. And at times of stress and hardships, that is what you're going to refer back to and that is what's gonna get you to keep 
Doing what? Pushing forward. Because at the end of the day, with success and becoming rich and building an empire, it's all about pushing through. So no matter what comes out your way, no matter how hard it is, no matter what you're going through, you are going to go ahead and push through and it comes back to the why. So this is very, very important to grasp and to understand so that you are not going to all of a sudden hang up the code when it gets difficult and when it gets tough. And remember, it will always be difficult and it'll always be tough because the reward is great. If you wanna be normal, if you wanna be average, which a lot of you guys watching this right now don't wanna be because otherwise you wouldn't click on this video and watch it, then go do the easy stuff. The reason McDonald's workers don't get paid a lot is because everyone can do that. Everyone can flip burgers, you know, everyone can make fries. So they're not gonna get paid as much as someone who runs online businesses, who knows and does things that other people don't, who pushes through when times get tough. No, like a lot of people can't do that and a lot of people don't do that, which is why the reward is so great for the people that are willing to push through. So that leads me on to the next thing, embrace the challenges, embrace the hardships because what this does is it makes you become a better person. So over the last couple of years, I've gone through a lot. I've gone through everything that you can think about. You know, I've hired over 200 plus people. I've fired over 50 people. I've had downs in businesses so many times. And even to this day, we always have things that get thrown at us all the time. But at this stage that I'm at now, I take on a lot of these stresses the challenges that come my way very, very well compared to the start. Because what I've underst uh, understood, and this is something that, you know, it, it's great. This is why you guys are watching this, because you can kind of learn from my mistakes and learn from the stuff that I've done, and you can apply them even better. Every time something stressful happens, every time something gets thrown at you, and you're thinking about quitting, and you're thinking about how everything is about to collapse, that thing is teaching you a lesson. And if you are one of the very few people that's able to push through, you get rewarded with a lesson. You get rewarded with more knowledge, more strength, you become wiser, and there's a great reward sitting in terms of monetary, money, and, and everything else that comes with it. So understand that all of this stuff is meant to happen to you. And if the pathway to success was a straight walk, and you know, it was easy, then everyone would do it and it wouldn't be rewarding. So that's the second thing is embrace the challenges, the hardships and understand, you know, it's, it's, it's a great thing. So, you know, that, that's very, very important. So now that we've got this out, uh, you know, we, we've spoken about this, this, the next thing is, is the, uh, the opportunity. And you know, let me get rid of this. I really need to order a, uh, a whiteboard dryer because you can't be doing this. So the next is, which is the third part, is the opportunity. So the, based on how much money that you want to make will also determine what opportunity that you should get into. So for a lot of you guys, you guys might be beginners. Maybe you're at you know, you, you, you're, you're still working a nine to five. Maybe you're a student at high school, maybe you're a college student, or maybe you're, you're at 30 grand a month, 50 grand a month, and you're, you're looking for blueprints to, to even get to a next level. But understanding opportunities. So based on where you're at, there's different opportunities. So the first is basic level online businesses. So doing things like drop shipping, doing things like running an agency, doing things like Instagram theme pages. So these are like zero to 10K a month opportunities is things like drop shipping. Now, obviously, you can make 10 million, 100 million, a billion dollars with drop shipping. Uh, you know, Shane is a billion dollar company, they drop ship. Gymshark started out drop shipping. So, I'm not saying that you can't get this to a billion dollars or 100 million dollars or 10 million dollars, whatever amount of money that you want to make, but it's beginner friendly. So, 
What this means is that with dropshipping, you don't need to buy an inventory up front. You don't need to, you don't need to risk a lot. And if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out, you know, you don't want to get into high level, like the high level stuff. So, which, which is like things like SaaS. So right now I have a software company as well, and it's not cheap to, to do software. Like SaaS is high barrier to entry. So this up, this, this SaaS is gonna cost you like, you know, you're looking at close to 100K. And that's just to build the, the software out. And then you gotta have development fees, then you gotta have marketing costs. So I would only get into things like that. Those are kind of opportunities. If you're at like 100 grand a month, you're at a million dollars a year plus. But you wanna do uh, beginner friendly opportunities and then you can build your way up. So you can go from even drop shipping to a brand, like an established brand where you have inventory in and then from a brand, you can go into SaaS or you can just scale up the brand and take it higher, higher. But the opportunity is very, very important. And there are a lot of opportunities online. There's so much going on. The reason I, I, I really hound in on, on dropshipping, and, I mean, and I'm talking about the new wave of dropshipping. So we have high quality supplies, fast shipping, and we're doing it the right way. We're not doing the old way where it doesn't really work anymore. We're doing the new wave of dropshipping. But, you know, with this, the opportunity is very important, but it's also very important for yourself because this is the business model that a beginner can start and anyone can start. For example, an agency, so SMA, that is great. But the problem is, is a lot of you guys aren't like probably well-spoken. You can't handle pressures of handling clients and you can't really go into Zoom meetings and sell yourself on why you can help that business. With dropshipping, you're behind the camera, whether you have a phone, laptop, wherever you might be, you're behind the screen. You don't have to talk to anyone, nothing. You sell simple products online and you can go ahead and make the money. The opportunity is so important because I see people, beginners, getting into the wrong opportunity. So for example, FBA, um, and I'm talking about Amazon. Amazon FBA is one of the worst op, uh, business models a beginner can get into. Why? Because you have to order 15 to $20,000 worth of inventory. By the time that inventory comes, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. On Amazon, the search list, you're gonna get outranked by guys that have been on there for ages and have more reviews, more five stars than, than you do. So very bad business model to get into. SaaS, very, very bad to get into. Dropshipping, great. It's a great business model for any beginner that, one that, go, well, that wants to go ahead, get to 10K a month and get to 50, then get to 100, then get to so-and-so. So this is why it's so important. So once you've understood opportunity and you know, you decided what you want to do based on the level that you're at. So you could be at, you know, a, a, a high level. The fourth is, and this is just what I really want to get into, is your habits. So habits, priorities, distractions, etc. So. Now this goes to our why, how much money do we want to make? Maybe you want to make 300 grand a year. Maybe you want to make $2 million a year. Maybe you want to make $10 million a year. Based on how much money you make, that's based on how much adjustments that you are going to make in your life. If you want to make 10 million, so for example, if you want to make five to $10 million a year, you have to sacrifice a lot more than someone who wants to make $200,000 a year. If you want to make a million dollars a year, you have to sacrifice more than someone who wants to make, once again, 200 grand a year. So based on where you're at, you're going to have to sacrifice that amount. Now I'm going to assume a lot of you guys want to make a million dollars plus per year because you want to become rich. At 300 grand a year, 500 grand a year profit, sure, you are technically making quite a lot of money where you can really do quite a lot, but I, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this, you want to make a million dollars a year. So if you want to make a million dollars a year profit, there's some stuff that needs to happen. And we're gonna go into habits, priorities, distractions, downtime, and things like that. So the first thing that you need to look at is you need to break your, down, uh, your day down by day, uh, hour by hour, sorry. So what are you doing on a day to day right now that can be replaced with something better? So for example, if you're watching Netflix and you're spending three hours a day on Netflix, 
If you're spending three hours a day on Netflix, which by the way, it might seem like a high amount, but there are people out there that will watch like two TV shows a day, which is like sometimes an hour TV show, that's two hours. Three actually might be a little bit ex excessive, but three hours, can we now move that three hours from Netflix, which isn't making us any money? Sure, might be our downtime, which I'm gonna get into as well, because I'm not telling you guys to like eliminate everything and go crazy and, and be crazy and psycho about your goals, because downtime is important and I'm gonna touch on some stuff there. But can we replace Netflix at three hours? Can we put into something better because we wanna become rich? Sure, of course we can. So from Netflix, let's go to education. So let's put that into education. So there, next, our screen time on social media. So this includes TikTok, IG, YouTube, X, Twitter. How much time are we spending there? People have a screen time of like seven hours these days, honestly. I'm like, I'm, I'm not even surprised. Seven hours to not make up money off any of these platforms, it's ridiculous. Let's cut this down from seven hours to one hour because you guys still wanna be talking to your friends, you still wanna be watching Instagram stories, you still wanna be consuming content, like mine on Instagram potentially, like you still wanna be up to date on these platforms. Like I'm not telling you to eliminate this completely, but from seven to, to one, now we've got six hours. The biggest thing that I hear from people is that I do not have time. That's the biggest thing that people say is like, Ramin, I don't have time. You do have time, you just are prioritizing it well enough. Because, you know, I, I put up an Instagram story like a couple of years ago, you know, I, t I tell people like, I, I was partying like quite, actually I started partying when I made money, but I'm also an ally on things. Like I completely went cold turkey on everything until like I made my, like I made a healthy amount of money, like millions of dollars because I didn't see the fun of partying, dinners and all this stuff, if I was not happy with my life, if I was not happy with the projection and the amount of money I was making. Look, life becomes so much more fun when you make a lot of money. So even if you can sacrifice like dinners, partying, like now me and my friends, like when we want to party, we go to Mykonos, we go to LA, Miami, we, we go around the world, we party properly. We don't go to the same bars and the same clubs that people go to every day. Dinners as well, like, you know, now we eat at all the high class restaurants. Although I'm not a fan of high class dinners, I, I enjoy a kebab or fast food over that, but we can eat wherever we want. More money, when you make more money, everything becomes more fun. So understand that, sure, you're sacrificing all of this stuff. Your friends might get mad at you, which is another thing. If your, friend do, if your friends do get pissed off at you trying to achieve your goals and dreams, if they get pissed off, they're spending more time on your goals and dreams than spending with them. If they're negative, if they're pushing you down, cut them off. You don't need these types of people in your life. They're not gonna pay your bills at the end of the day. When it comes down to paying your mortgage, when it comes down to retiring your parents, when it comes down to paying the bill, their negative opinions, their thoughts, and how they feel is not going to pay that. So why do we care about that? True, like why do we care about what they have to say, what they think, if when it comes down to the most important things, which is your why, which we spoke about earlier, they're not gonna pay that. So it does not matter at all. So if your friends are like that, cut them off immediately. You don't need people like that in your life. You want to be surrounded with people that are gonna push you, inspire you, to the point where people are gonna make you wanna think even bigger. For example, I was in Canada, and on my phone screen, I literally have that it says uh, $100 million on my phone screen. And my friend looked at me and he said, why not a billion dollars? Those are the types of people you want around you. You want people that are gonna be like, you need to be thinking bigger, you're thinking way too small because we can achieve a lot more than what we think we can. Like you are more capable of achieving more than you think you can. So for example, my ultimate goal when I started out was to make $10,000 a month. Like that was my goal. Uh, and now the biggest month that we've had is, you know, over $300,000 in a single month. And our business consistently makes six figures every single month to the point we're now gonna get to a point where hopefully we're making seven figures a month. So you can achieve a lot more than you think you can. So, you know, 
habits. What are we doing? How can we set ourselves up for success? How can we cut out stuff that we, you know, we don't want to cut out? Now, I understand at the same time, we live in a world full of distractions. Like it's a very distracting world out there. And I get caught up in these social media platforms. I get caught up in things that I know I shouldn't be doing, but I'm, but, but I fall into this into this trap and it's completely normal. We're all humans at the end of the day. We all fuck up, we all mess up. Like I'm not uh, ignorant to the fact that I, f I fall into these two. So don't think that I'm perfect at the end of the day. I do fall into it. But the most important thing is that you snap back into reality and you understand that th what you're doing is wrong and you need to make improvements to fix it. Accountability and responsibility is the be best thing that you can do at the end of the day. Like I look at myself in the mirror all the time and I blame everything on myself because when you do blame a lot of the stuff on yourself, you can now be put in a position to fix it. Whereas if you blame external circumstances, you make excuses, what that does is you're playing kind of victim mentality and you're no longer going to do anything that you can to, in order to fix that situation. So it's very important that you look at yourself and be like, Hey, Maybe spending all this time on these social media platforms, it's not good. It's not great. It's not getting me anywhere. Sure, replacing Netflix of three hours with education. The short term effects, like as in, you're not going to see anything for six months or eight months. Like, you know, net, sure, Netflix gives you dopamine, instant dopamine. It's instant dopamine. Like you're sitting there, it's enjoyable. Education isn't enjoyable, but if you want to become rich, you have to learn to do the boring stuff. Like there are so many things in my business, there's so many things in my life that I don't wanna do. I don't like to do it, it's boring. I would rather scroll on TikTok and get cheap dopamine, like instant dopamine, and get entertained than do six hours of uh, 30 minutes of reading, two hours of watching uh, this video, five hours of working on my business. It's much more sexier to, to watch Netflix and do all this stuff. No one wants to do the boring work, which is why a lot of people aren't successful. It's the boring work. Business isn't successful. You know what's, you know what's sexy? Is when you do the boring work and that funds the lifestyle. So the boring businesses, boring into fun. So sitting on my laptop, doing meetings, doing all this stuff, it's boring, but it makes millions which means I can go and have fun. I can go out there, have fun, I can ride jet skis, I can go on yachts, I can travel whenever I want, I can take care of people, I can, I can fulfill my why and I can get closer to my why. So boring work into millions. So enjoy all this boring stuff. And over time what will happen as well is you'll hire people to do the extra, extra boring stuff that you don't want to do. And then you can kind of focus on the things that you genuinely like. Like now there are certain things in the business that I like doing than other things. And for the other stuff, I hire people for it. I hire better talent and they cover it. And that way I can like kind of focus on the things that I truly want to do. So cutting all this out is very, very important. And that leads to your habits as well. So your how well you do in your personal life is going to be a correlation on how many, how much money you make and how much fun you can have. Because you are you at the end of the day, your thoughts, your habits, what you eat, what you think, who you surround yourself with, all of that is going to be in correlation of how much money you make. You know, a lot of people sit there and they're like, oh, well, Ramin, I, I, I watched your one hour video on YouTube on, on how to become successful with, with, with dropshipping, right? With the new wave of dropshipping. But I just, I haven't been able to find any success. And when you look at their day to day, you look at their habits, their priorities, what's, what are they getting distracted by? What does their downtime look like? It, it, it's all terrible. It's all, an, it's all an F. If you're gonna scale in and go from A, B, C, D, E, F, it's all an F because your personal life is gonna dictate how well you do in your business life. If you have uh, problems with your family, if you have problems with, with a girl that you're seeing, if you have, if you have like, you know, the, if you have friends that are negative, it, this, this is all things that, are, that, that get, uh, you know, they, they suck you up. They suck the energy out of you, the life out of you. And then what happens is your business will end up going down as well because you're not thinking clear, you're not thinking straight, you're not feeding your body with the right things, your mind with the right things, so you're not gonna do well in business. So it's very, very important that you look at your habits 
and you start to fix it up and you look at your priorities. Do I need to go out to that dinner? Do I need to go out to that party? Do I deserve to do that? Or can I go ahead and spend that time on my actual business? Now, obviously there are days where you are not gonna, honestly, the, the human mind has like four to six hours of like focus work that they can do. After that, you can do regular maintenance stuff, but if you smash your day with focus work, you really do your best you can, sure go on that dinner, sure, sure go to that party, sure go, watch a TV show that you want to watch, but don't make these your priorities. Make the education your priority, make the boring stuff your priority, find fulfillment in that, and understand that it's a long journey, it's a process, so you can make the millions, so you can go ahead and have all the fun that you honestly want to have. Because then, that will be your downtime, which is play some sports, talk to your friends, have some fun, because that's important, because otherwise we then we just drain ourselves with all this stuff. So yeah, that is super, super important. And then the last thing, just wanna make sure that I don't think, uh, focus, I really wanna touch on the focus, and then there's one more thing that I wanna go into, um, focus. So I've seen this happen so many times. There is a difference between hard work like where there's a difference between sitting at your desk, at your laptop and doing work, and then there's actually doing work. So I know people that brag about how they work 15 hour days, 16 hour days, where in reality out of those 16 hour days, maybe two hours was, was thing. Um, no, wait, check if it's, if it's all good. So I know a lot of people brag about 16 hour days but in reality, they're only working maybe two hours. Of that is focused. So you've just wasted 14 hours of your life just sitting there and doing nothing. When 14 hours you could have gone, watched Netflix, done boring, like social media, dinner, hung out with people. So don't sit there and waste time. Like if you're gonna do work, be focused. Put your phone on, do not disturb. To write out what are the key things that you need to do that day. Like write out a list. What are the key things that you need to do? Step one, step two, step three, step four. Tick them all off. Those are the things that are gonna drive the needle forward the most. Like if you're doing, for example, for example, like drop shipping. Uh, this is why I say this because it's, it's something that I teach, something that I help people out with to get them. Don't focus on your logo. Don't focus on things that don't matter. Focus on how do I get as many customers to my store as possible. That's your focus. How do I get the most people to your store? Because that's what matters. The more people you get to your store, the more sales that you make, the more money that you make. A lot of people spend too much time focusing on the wrong things. So focus, but focus on the right things and actually do them. Get them done. Don't spread it out over a whole entire day. And that's where your thing. And the last thing is, to wrap it up, is consistency, showing up every single day and giving your absolute all. You know, at times it might seem like this will never come, the millions, but they will, and they'll only come if you're able to push through, you're able to do the boring work, you have great habits, priorities, you're not distracted by stupid stuff, you have quality downtime, you know your why, you have the right opportunity under your belt, and if all those things align, then there's literally no reason as to why you can't go out there and make the money and become rich and, and really enjoy this life. And as I said, there's times where you wanna give up, there's times where it's gonna get hard, there's times where you're gonna be like, all right, I don't know if I wanna do it, if I wanna keep going, but your why will keep you there and keep you in check, keep you locked in and enjoy that journey because it's gonna to come to a point where you're gonna get everything and you're gonna be like, damn, I really did it. And then from there, you're gonna be like, all right, I can keep going up and I can keep achieving more. You're gonna realize that this wasn't as hard as you thought it was. And it's because you stuck by it, you stayed consistent, and you trusted the process, and you trusted yourself because you set yourself up for success with all the things that you learned in this video. Boom. That was great.